the moment sometimes you think about it and you're like oh god when did it happen to me why do i have to go through that why does it have to Hello, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's a much girl here, guys. If you've been watching my videos, no, just subscribe, kindly subscribe. And if you want to make a review, you can my videos. Thank you so much. We love you so much. So, guys, remember to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and also remember to turn on the notification bell for me because once I upload a new video, you can be notified. So, guys, by the topic you can see today, what I'm going to discuss. Today I want to discuss about my miscarriage, my miscarriage. So you know guys, it is not that easy for someone to lose his or a child. Sometimes it's so crazy. Sometimes you feel a lot of pain. But we thank God for the life, we thank God for the mercies, we thank God for the love that he has, he has shown us. So guys, it was this time, I was I was about two to three months pregnant, that is 20 something weeks. So it started somewhere, okay, I got pregnant and okay, I was not ready for it, but I talked that there was drugs. But, you know, sometimes it's so bad to bring some bad memories, but it, it tells what it is. So, God, just help me to do this. So, guys, as you see, I was pregnant. I was two to three months pregnant. Now, it was this a certain day. I think it was on a Sunday. I went out for a walk. Then, after I went out for a walk, I went out for a walk. Then, again... When I came back, I started bleeding. So, you know, I knew me kwangu nilijua e bleeding. Maybe ime kwaswana something fishy. Ama, you have to need some tones, but the bleeding that day sequence or see the following day, it was uh, not that much heavy, but it looked like a kidogo. I engaged as a pad. So, I took it serious. I went to hospital. They sent me for scan scanning. After I went for scanning, they told me everything is okay. Your cervix is closed. I don't know the, where the bleeding is. It was something complicated because, first of all, they never saw the blood. As in, our could you come in a bleed. So they sent me again to wait for like two days so that I can go for another scanning so that they can notify what's wrong with me. So I started like, that day in kind of home, they gave me some some drugs are infection because they said maybe the bleeding is caused by infection so what can patch a dozen that's infection and i went home that day that night nika bleed sun and it also said in a bleed never need a change pad is it not even your corner or corner period that's because not survival and not painful but i continue taking my drugs because of the, because they described those they described those medicine because they thought that I had infection so nika kunyuzo dawa but the more I'm taking those drugs the more I'm bleeding so like after one week I'm still bleeding I went again back kwa dok nika mwambia dok apana e bleeding ime kwa more because for now I can change like two parts per day which is not normal so I had again to go for another scan unajua hakuna mtu na kama so I should not stress myself. I should bed rest, blah blah mob. So I started bed resting. It was so tough for me because and it was not that much tough to I wasn't having that painful bleeding. Mine was just normal. So many cartoonile kawaita. Yeah, could bleed because the first pregnancy I never bled, but this one was so much contradicting when I bled. Like, oh, now that it is ending like two weeks, I'm still bleeding. So, after that, what can you need? What can I must have a bed rest? I'm, I'm not supposed to overthink, 
and there were do some chakula ali kwame and kiani kulake as a kama mambo na bichut mambo na zetu jahe ama zetu ni hizo i don't know in english how they are called hizo ile black bean some other words here yeah, those things so and kan na kula hivyo na kula hivyo na kula hivyo mpaka the, imagine kakunywa hizo does infections zikaisha but the bleeding was still there so i went and told my doctor that when i patched there was infection kwani how chance and kuna chance is it ni kuna percentage chance here gapi how many percent do i have to guarantee that this ball it are it are quite safe cause me i'm wondering cause kama mkinifanya mkinifanya scan ama in it ultrasound everything is normal you are telling me that my cervix is is nini is whatever is closed and everything is normal okay where is the bleeding coming from are you trying to hide anything from me ama mother i know it's painful to tell someone that you're going to lose this thing you are giving me hopes so if it's something bad I'm ready to receive bad news and I'm also ready to receive good news. So first of all, tell me what's wrong with my pregnancy. That's why I was curious until I changed another hospital, I went for scanning. And the doctor told me, "Ah, you gonna chance kidogo sana ya ibol because we can see some blood clotting from the uterus." And then I asked the doctor, "Do you think that is a miscarriage?" And he told me, "It was so frank." And he told me the chance of this pregnancy for for this to have miscarriage it is 70% and which is high so do you want to do an abortion or run and keep trying to see whether it can be saved and i told him it's okay so from there i was so much stressed because you know okay but that's long you know there's some consequences of with a child if you can be many o can one o can say we toy i can some complications because you bleed a lot i started googling if you bleed this and this what is the consequences of the child what is that that is i was not settled so i think i called my mom and i told my mom that i'm bleeding extra so um, then again and again to my gaina i told my gaina told me Let's stop 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 you seeing first of all what they did they gave you some infection drugs and which was not highly recommended they could have recommended something else for you so right now stop taking the medication you were given earlier before as i said i was given some i was given um the infection infection drugs so it it told me to stop taking them and then i stopped so Unfortunately, the bleeding was excess, excess. So until it started coming with clothes, that's where I knew I was messing up. That's where I knew that this ring is real. That's why I. That's when I knew I got up a miscarriage by three, and it was almost the month pregnancy. You can imagine. Yani mpaka damu inatoka na zile clothes za damu yani unaona ni kama nyama ya mtoto so hapo ndo nijui until so now i had an appointment with my doctor like a week a week ahead so i decided i decided to relax myself i decided to watch myself and then it happened around it was on it was on a weekday i can't remember the date itself it was on wednesday thursday there yeah. so that way i went to sleep early was my first born was already asleep so i went to sleep again so when i went to sleep around 2 am i seen kuna wile mtu anajua unajua unaweza uka pop chupa uka skim imetole sauti pa so ni kwa ni melala nilisikia tu kitu ime pop yani okay for those who have been in labor room for those who have been uh, for those who have been pregnant they understand how the water breaks so i just add a pop sound Wow, I was any nili shanguvu. I had to struggle myself not to stand in the bed. But as fast I thought I was renting on bed. Okay, I thought I was being on my bed. So I, I thought I was being on my bed. So I decided to just kusimama pole pole. I don't want to, to disturb anyone. Na kwambia mazini nikishuka tu kwa bed nilisikia tu ile sauti you know when you are popping something that sound you are popping something nilisikia pia imetoka pop kama chupi imepeniwa unfortunately nilionza tu my blood my blood my blood and you can remember it is like 
2 a.m. in the midnight. I have nowhere to go. I don't know where I'm going to go. So I had to rush around nearby. There was a nearby clinic, as in a clinic, somehow just near I could work because singing panda took took some panda anything. So I went to that hospital. Now this happened. When I reached to that hospital, it was 2 a.m. I told these people that I've, I I carried all my medication report and I told them that I'm having a miscarriage. I need to be washed. I need to be washed to avoid more complications. And the doctor was like, no, we can't wash you right now. We're going to wait for the, the person who does scanning or who does the ultrasound to come to arrive. And we're going to call it. Imagine they are not attending to me. I'm bleeding extra and I'm trying to tell them that this is a mascara because I was a pregnant and I had a lot of complications and they are like no we have to wait to have an ultrasound so that we can determine whether it is it is whatever it is mascara or it is not mascara. I was so mad and I had no other option rather than to wait because where I was there was I could go to another hospital, not call an emergency. I was not that financially stable. So I waited for that last person. They called that person to come. And it came like around 4 a.m. You can imagine the bleeding from that moment up to 3 a.m. So once it came, it just done a scanning. And they said that, wow, this lady is having miscarriage. So instead, of giving, oh no, me, I've never had a miscarriage that could go to hospital. So, when they came and gave me, could I get a little pair negative now leave me? They told me it will clean everything itself. So, they told me it will clean everything. So, many kayaka, you are down, come, you are down, 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 you are Wini ni yapo kwa mdomo. As in chini ya ulimi. Uye kapo ita yukatu ya nyewe. And it, it will clean you. It will clean all those clothes and whatever, and whatever. So I went back home. Because I thought maybe this is good. And it will help. And everything shall be okay. So I went back home. I was so much distressed. But the more I reached home now. When you leave katu kwa nyumba hivi. Because there was blood everywhere. So I just went straight to the bathroom. Stood there. And this is where I knew that. The doctors, that clinic has messed me. Reason behind it has messed me. Now the clothes, you can see all those clothes. Nini za mtoto, nini nini zina talk. Alafu na juwa zikito. Okay, for those who have been having cramps, they understand what I'm trying to say. It is very much painful, by the way. So, after there, after now, I, after I moved to that hospital, send me the home, ni kasuma bathroom, I have no other option, ata ni kiva cotton, it is, yani, I shiki kitu, kwa sasa, zinatoka nyama zenyewe, you know, um, two to three months, so, imtota shata kujiform, so, there, I stood there, I started feeling dizzy, I felt dizzy, and ata ni kiangalia hizi, ni nana some bubbles, ni nana some, Yani, nina wanavitu, yani, nina wanavitu complicated with the way. So, sikuwa nina hona. So, nika chukua sim. Kwa sasa, nishata kushansa kwa subuhi. So, nika chukua sim. I called my personal doctor. I can't wear a doc. Ninani. So, nika wambia doc. Mimi ni mepata miscarriage and it has happened. Akane mba andi, where are you? I told him that I received first aid and I explained to him all the process I had. So after I explained to him the process that I had from the earlier clinic, he told me, yeah. no, you don't have to stay there. You have to, have to hurry up and come back to the hospital. Now, I put on, I was so much confused. I told him. I told my doctor, he told me he talked to me a cab. So the cab came and spoke to me. Then he kinda do akani akaniosha and that's what that's okay. It's so something painful than losing something which I fought for. Losing something. You know, pregnancy is so a struggle, especially the first trimester, or that vomiting, or that trying to keep yourself healthy, or that to avoid nausea and mood swings and all that. that. But what I really do, thank God, is that it saved my life. Because if I could have just ignored all the, all the red flags, all 
I'm a, I could have ignored everything. I don't know where I could be. But I thank God, my doctor saved me in time. I can use a resource. I can tell the remaining, the remaining whatever. Because me remain, I can make a drip and I was good. And this was mostly actually thank God for it. But sometimes it is a very, <laughs> you know, it's a very situation. It is, it is, a, it is a moment. Sometimes you think about it and you're like, oh God. When did it happen to me? Why do I have to go through that? Why does it have to happen to me? Why is it me? But sometimes we don't have the right to question, to question God. So we have to believe. We have to believe everything happens for a reason. I don't know why it happened to me, but it's something which pains me because for sure I tr I struggle, especially the one month was so tough for me. I vomited. I hated so much. I had a lot of mood swings. I fought for it. I fought for everything. I fought for my baby to stay. I did everything I could to let my baby stay in my home. I could, I could be having a baby girl. I don't know. I don't know, but I thank God for that. Maybe he had his reasons. So no, I can't question him right now. But I'm so glad I'm okay. I thank God. I just have to thank him for saving my life. I don't have much more to say, guys. Please like this video. Let's add to 3,000 subscribers, guys. And remember to share this video. I love you so much. Let's meet again on another, another video. Bye-bye.